Hello everyone, this video is in continuation to my previous videos in which I have started up with the diagrams of uh, the diagrams which come for drawing in the exams. In my previous video, I have covered photosynthesis and circulatory system. In this video, we will be starting up with the chapter excretory system. Now, the first diagram which comes for drawing from this chapter is the structure of excretory system. It's an important diagram, be it ICSE or CBSE, it is an important diagram. So, we will start with the diagram quickly. Draw the diagram in the center of the sheet because it's a diagram which will be labeled both the sides now we all know it's a pair of kidneys bean shaped kidneys draw two kidneys parallelly then from this notch this tube is going to come down we'll make two tubes like this here and the second one will come from here like this okay now we are going to make urinary bladder join the two inside lines and then from the outer one start making this bladder here also and then finally we'll end up in urethra okay now this is the excretory system human excretory system here in many diagrams we have vasa recta and aorta also uh, renal showing renal artery and renal vein i'm not going to draw them here because it's just the diagram excretory system okay now we come to the labeling part arrows towards the part which you are going to label kidney then obviously the lines should be in a straight line so till here that's the ureter this bladder then urinary bladder then we have circular muscles present here known as sphincter muscles we'll draw them like this sphincter muscles then this opening finally we can label it like this okay final this is the way we draw the diagram all the labelings on one side the arrows to point it towards the part and the lines in a straight line which will give a very neat appearance this was about the structure of excretory system our next diagram is the structure of a kidney now we are going to draw the structure of this kidney as an enlarged longitudinal view so we'll start okay fine again a bean shaped kidney kidney a bit big in size then this tube coming out as we had made in the previous diagram now the kidney is divided into two parts we'll divide it into two parts just like this a partition then it has dotted appearance in the outer part because it has nephrons the upper part of nephron that is the malpighian capsule which is present here in the cortex part of the kidney then we have this pointed pyramids present here because the tubular part of the nephron is present here inside the kidney then this is all about the rough draft now we are going to start labeling it it will be labeled both the sides notch this notch this point is known as hilum this broad part of ureter is known as pelvis this tube ureter now from this side the outermost part of the kidney a renal cortex then the inner part a renal medulla then this pyramids the tubes okay so this completes the structure of a 
kidney the labeling so on both the sides the arrows should be pointing towards the part which are to be labeled and the lines should be straight as already told you should try to write in capitals during labeling because that gives a you know neat image of the uh, diagram now after this after the structure of kidney the next structure here would be the structure of malpighian capsule in many of the papers the uh, structure has been asked to draw uh, as um, draw the structure where the ultrafiltration occurs so here you had to draw malpighian capsule so i'll be taking up that diagram it's not that difficult it's an easy diagram okay now it's a cup shaped structure we'll draw the cup like this complete the cup okay then we have glomerulus present here which starts from a capillary moves inside and then comes out this one this blood uh, sorry this vessel is thick and this one is thin keep it mind uh, keep in it uh, keep it in mind before drawing because this helps it to maintain the pressure for the process of ultra filtration then we will give it a perforated appearance so that it will look tubular now finally come to the labeling part the efferent arteriole efferent arteriole the afferent arteriole then this tubular part glomerulus then this cup shaped structure bowman's capsule and finally we can also uh label this part we can start uh, making you know a coil structure this is the pct this is optional if you want to now this completes the structure of a malpighian capsule a very easy diagram full scoring marks three marks diagram so you can easily draw the structure okay this was about the structure of a malpighian capsule now the last structure of the chapter that is the structure of a nephron the nephron very rarely it comes for drawing but still if it comes for the drawing if it comes for drawing be it an icic cbs in both the syllabuses it they have this diagram if it comes for drawing just draw it simple draw it complete so that uh, just follow the steps which i'll be telling you to draw the diagram okay now we'll start the structure of a nephron nephron has this malpighian capsule on the top so first of all we'll make the malpighian capsule which will then lead to we'll make a coil like this and finally then we'll make a u tube structure like this it's a broader part so keep it broad this u tube structure is slightly thin as compared to the other part then again a coil structure which will end here that's also broad and finally it will end up in the collecting duct it's very easy it's just a draft okay now the next part again we'll complete the capsule cup shaped structure then we have afferent arteriole again the one which the diagram which we had we had already drawn we have to draw it the same but in a miniature form okay then now this part efferent arteriole is now going to continue parallelly around this whole structure of nephron so what i will suggest is if there is diagram comes for drawing please shade this part this tube which which now i'm going to make with a red pencil so that it's easy to differentiate that this is vasa recta where the blood flows okay so i'm making it with a different colored chalk to make it clear you just have to make it parallel to the nephron it will go wherever the tube is going okay so try making it parallel if you will practice it twice or thrice this diagram will be the most easy diagram of the book which you will draw so just make it parallel why does it move parallel because it has to you know diffuse the blood now then it will end up here fine we can also shade this because it is continuously filled with blood that will give a appearance that okay fine it has blood present in it so we'll shade it up now comes the labeling part this is a diagram where the labeling will be on both the sides so we'll label it both the sides 
just keep in uh, mind the same things the arrows should point towards the part which we are going to label and the lines should remain in a straight line now here i'm not going to label each and every part if you want to you can easily do it afferent arteriole efferent arteriole glomerulus and then make an uh, a, make a bracket like this and this whole structure is malpigian capsule then next part pct now this red tube vasa recta this bent tube loop of henle then this tube dct and these tubes collecting ducts you draw this diagram no one is going to deduct marks it's a full diagram with everything presented and has the same shape as it should be so this is the easiest manner to draw nephron if it comes for drawing this is all about the chapter excretory system we have done the most important diagrams of your syllabus that's the excretory system the structure of kidney the structure of malpigian capsule and the structure of nephron all the four diagrams are very important can come for the in the paper for drawing okay so uh, in my next video i'll be taking up the structure uh, sorry the chapter nervous system please do watch keep liking sharing subscribing thank you